Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon says today is likely to be the worst single day yet for daily COVID-19 case numbers since this pandemic began. Just yesterday, there were 98 new cases. Under the area's yellow zone designation for microclusters, schools will need to complete regular testing. And McMahon says we'll know Friday which schools can complete the required testing so they can stay in person and which schools will have to go remote. Many of the latest cases are coming from Syracuse University. SU reports 50 new student COVID cases, 132 currently active. SU you announced earlier this week it will go all online for its classes beginning November 16th next Monday and then finish this semester entirely remote. West Genesee High School is going fully remote starting tomorrow. The superintendent says two students tested positive for COVID-19. As a result of contact tracing, 60 students and 10 staff members are now in a mandatory quarantine. The district hopes to bring high school students back for in-person instruction November 20th. 654 boards of elections across central New York have begun to count the tens of thousands of absentee ballots. Many of those ballots will decide the winner of several state races and congressional races, too. In Onondaga County, 14 teams of elections workers and campaign observers ran through 7,500 ballots of the nearly 57,000 yesterday. Democratic New York State Senators are bringing forth legislation that would allow those absentee ballots to start being canvassed on Election Day three hours before the polls close. Right now, absentee ballots cannot be counted until after Election Day. This year, more than 1.5 million were returned. In Madison County yesterday, several police agencies responded to Chittenango Falls State Park for reports of a man with a gun. Police say a Madison County Sheriff's deputy shot 37-year-old Timothy Bodley after an hours-long standoff. He's expected to be okay. At the request of the Madison County Sheriff, state police have now taken over the investigation into this officer-involved shooting.